Hey guys, welcome back to RK Garage. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment. <clears throat> In case you missed it last week, uh, I did a live stream. I'll be doing one again tomorrow, which is Sunday. So, um, I have another week off work. I managed to catch COVID, so I'm in ISO. So I'm trying to put together videos. Um, obviously I couldn't go to the dyno because I'm isolating. But what I have today is a neon kit for EcoJet. Um, I just got it because the local, um, like a supporter of a local, one of the local drift communities um sells all types of accessories and wheels and whatnot and this came up and i thought you know for um nighttime video shoots and photo shoots would be cool even though it is still gay as hell but anyway so we're going to go through and put this in as you can see i've just started to route this wire up through here pretty dodgily but i'm going to clean this surface down and then stick it on and then we'll carry on probably gonna have to extend one or two of the wires but we'll get to that but anyway, um, yeah, let's get to doing this. So this here comes with double-sided tape. I'm gonna tie it down where I can as well. But for now on the surface, I'm gonna give it a quick spray. Because she is pretty filthy. And then, wipe it down. In fact, that's really filthy. Right. So, I want this to sit somewhere. Like that. Interesting to see how well this double sided tape sticks. Shit. All right, so some time has passed, but got it up. I put that one there. These ones here on the side ended up just sticking pretty nicely. I'm just gonna run it like that. If it comes off, it comes off. I'll deal with it. And then the one at the back was a bit shit. I had to tie it across there. Lucky I could tie it there. There. This one here has got a couple of cable ties running across. Um, I've got to run power into the cabin, into a switch, which I'll probably do tomorrow. So for now, I've just got these jump leads to a battery rigged up, so you can turn them on. And uh, it's actually controlled by this app on your phone. So I press the on button, so we'll try and get the shot. <clears throat> Come on, there you go. They turned on, so... For this we'll turn the lights off it's all nice and black turn it on and there we go so they work all round it's a bit gay but here's what it is you can change your colors as well as setting up like that but yeah that's where that's at at the moment <coughs> So that's what this part of this video is going to end. I'll come back once it's on the ground and uh, we can actually see on the ground and whatnot. Um, but I've also got some caliper paint coming. So tomorrow I'll spray the calipers red and probably spray the rest of the wheel well all nice and black. So that'll continue on. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, so it's the next day. Yeah, I've got all the um, neons tidied up under here. The box will be added. This is still just around temporary. Like cables are just strung across because I'm not sure if I'm keeping it or whatnot. 
I think okay, we've got another cabin um, later on. When I get this back on the ground, I'll do the switch then. <coughs> As for now, I'm gonna lower the hoist a bit, take the rims off, and we're gonna paint up in the wheel wells. I got some caliper paint here, so I'm gonna spray the calipers red, and then the rest of the hub's black and whatnot to neaten it up, because it looks like shit in daylight. So we'll get this lowered down and to the right height and carry on. Alright, so I'm going to start by taping up <coughs> everything on here. So, uh, ignore this spacer. But I'm going to start by bagging up everything else around. I'm pretty lucky I have some plastic bags of painting, so I'm going to go around everything around there and block off all this area. So, it's the first coat on there. I'm going to go along and do the rest, and we'll come back after that's all done. So, there we have the roughest paint job ever. The calipers are red, everything else around it is black. Just got to let it dry. I'll whack the wheels on. Probably looks better on camera than it does in person. And then I've got to do the other side, which I'll do off camera. And then um, get this all on the ground. And we'll do the switch on the inside and yeah, what a boring video. So everything's all done. You can see the red's poking through there, it's all nice and black. Coming up the side you can see a bit better though because of better lighting. Yeah, there you go. You can see now calp was red poking through, everything in there's all nice and black. Before it wasn't. So I'm gonna get Eco Jet on the ground and we're gonna do the swapperoo between this. And that, this is going to go back up on the hoist. This one's going to be on the ground, hopefully ready to go. So we'll do that. Get back to you guys as that's all done. And then we can put the switch in and get it all going and get a nice video of it. A little dark and an eons on. Okay, so I've done the swap. I don't remember if I already said that or not, but <clears throat> might have doubled up. But it's all in, wide. So... I ended up putting my switch down in here in the glove box, which you probably can't see. But anyway, I also put in the switch for the Varex muffler, which has finally been posted, so we'll be going back to the fab guy. Um, let me get my torch on. So, as you can see there, it's the black switch to the side. Uh, hooked it up to the power that's with this cigarette lighter that's in there. So turn my key on See that <clears throat> and then if we're looking down on the side here, we should see the blue light turn on now There you go so I'll turn the lights off and um, Yeah, we'll control it with the phone <clears throat> Right, we'll whip the lights off So as you can see you can't see anything and bam and as per before completely controllable by the phone turn it off on and go between the colors etc etc i'll get a bit of light on so that we can actually kind of see So 
So you can kind of see there, get this off, on, which looks bloody awesome. Light spread's pretty good. Front and rear of a side could do with being a little bit longer, but <clears throat> I could probably buy another kit and add on to the side, which I might do. Put it in the engine boat as well, maybe. But that's pretty cool. So I'm gonna open the roller door. I'll get in the light. I'm gonna open the roller door, get a um, thumbnail. There's a bit of light coming in and yeah, that'll be it. So once again, like, subscribe, leave a comment. And don't forget, I'm doing a live stream this Sunday. So see you guys tomorrow, uh, 5 p.m. WA time. So get on it.